ain't looking for no handouts to say no. Always stack high and stay low. Try to level up, better get with us. Gotta keep it real, cause you know it's about to get real uncomfortable. Yeah, real and uncomfortable. It's about to get real uncomfortable. Yeah, real and uncomfortable. What's going on, everybody? Uh, welcome to another episode of Real and Uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. I go by the name of E-Man Music. And it's your boy, C. Tez. And today, we actually have a special guest, something very new to us. But we've been blessed with the presence of the wonderful songstress from the 914, Miss Sherry. Hello. Uh, if you don't know her, you need to look her up and get familiar very fast. So why don't you tell them a little bit about your you know, music, what you do? Um, I currently only have one song out on iTunes right now, which mm -hmm. is definitely someone that's going to be coming uh, later on this year. It's that one song's a, a damn good one. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you very much. Absolutely. Um, it's my baby. It took me a while to put it together <laughs> and put it out. Um, so go on ahead and check that out. For sure, for sure. Yes, yes. And um, we actually, we wanted to tackle something. As you see, we got a little bit of something on the table. And this can be a little bit of a weird topic for rubbing some. Rubbing alcohol. Ru rubbing alcohol. It had E rubbing his chest afterwards. Yeah. That's what it was. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but E, man, why don't you tell what we're about to get into today? What are you talking just, about? Just, just bar etiquette, like as far as, you know. Women accepting drinks at the bar. Um, okay, okay. I don't know. This is this something you do often? Not, not, not really, not really. I, I don't really. I'm out the game. You feel me? But okay. um, oh. as far as accepting drinks at the bar, does that you know when a guy offers a drink, does that um, how would you word it? Does that come with like obligations? Expectations. Oh, I like that better. I can't necessarily say like I've had a stranger buy me a drink at the bar because that's kind of how it sounds like right. you see stuff like that in oh, the movies yeah. where right. it's like yeah. this drink came from that guy down there. Right. Um, but I, I mean, out of obligation, I guess maybe if he was in my face, I'd talk to him. Like I'd have a conversation mm -hmm. with him. Mm -hmm. If he wasn't drank of enough. I, but see, I think that's what it boils down to, isn't that, it? That's always what it boils okay. down to. That's why am I dating you or sitting here having okay. a conversation right, with right, you? Right. I mean, he might have a it. great personality. That tequila will help him help you see that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you know I mean? the, the, just like my face, no dude is gonna wanna. Yeah, but I don't know. It's the approach, right? Like this is true. How else? How else would you rather a guy approach you at the bar if the drink is not the the option? Believe it or not, an excuse me, miss, or excuse me, beautiful. We'll go a long wow. way. Wow. Okay. It will go Hit you with that line. What's your name? What's your wow. sign? I hate the yo ma. <laughs> wow. I hate that. I'm not your mother. I didn't give birth to you. Oh, wow. Not. Okay. The, okay. The, the, the little simple things go a long way. Have you ever had a guy get a little bit upset that he wasn't, you know, he bought you the drink, he sent it across the bar or something, and it was just like, you know, he felt a little way that that conversation ain't go to, right? Not as far as a drink, but I definitely have had a guy not take his L gracefully because I didn't want to talk to him. Taking an L. He didn't take it gracefully, like, mm -hmm. at all. Uh, where was I? I was at B.B. King's before B.B. King's closed mm -hmm. <laughs> in Times Square. Mm. And, um, Dating horror stories. Dating horror stories. <laughs> okay, yeah. okay right I haven't entirely too many a date. Let's talk about um, it. Talk it wasn't really a date, though, but um, we were inside. I was vibing, mm -hmm. minding my business. You know how girls kind of, you know, like, yeah, dancing your friends, dance dancing friends. Friends. Mm -hmm. business. Yes, I felt somebody yes. behind me, and I was moving, and I turned around, and I saw his face, and I was like, no, thank oh, you. Oh, you did the look back? Yeah. You hit him with the look back? Yeah. Oh. No, thank you. So he could have had a personality. <laughs> I'm sure he does. I'm sure he does. But I need to. I need to look at something nice while On I'm regular, getting to yeah, know yeah, yeah. the personality. For sure. Mm. For sure. For so, sure. Um, Goddamn. He really wasn't taking it very well. He kept trying to talk to me several times at night. Um, persistence. And then, persistence. And I don't like that. I'm not playing hard to get at all. Okay. You don't know if I want to talk to you. <laughs> True, I guess. But I feel like that comes with, like you said, if you're attracted or not attracted. Right. It's not going to be that hard. So so, so ugly dudes don't get no love. I, that's essentially what it is. Somebody's going to love them. It's just not so, going to be Somebody's going to love them. It's just not, <laughs> it's not, gonna be just me. not me. It's not going to be me. I'm that's so sorry. Okay, let me ask you. Is there a point, right? Like, you ever heard of the grand romantic gesture? Yes. So with that, for you guys who don't know what the grand romantic gesture is, that's when you do something that's way over the top. To just get the uh, attention or attraction of a lady that you're interested in, or or you know a gentleman, which you depending on what you right, do. Right, whatever you want to but do. um, so to me, there's got to be a scale. Like if if a shot of Hennessy didn't do it, if your favorite drink at the bar didn't do it, is there a grand romantic gesture that outweighs the ugly? 
that ugly is doing damage. Wow. <laughs> that um, ugly is doing damage. I, I will say that it does. Okay. And I guess that's also where persistence kind of comes into play. Because mm-hmm. I've definitely dated somebody before who I didn't think was mm-hmm. most attractive. Okay. And he wasn't He was super medium tall. ugly. He was, he, he was medium ugly. No, he was just <laughs> ugly. And oh. that was okay. Because he was a sweetheart. So what? So that, and that, kind, that okay. won me okay. over. Okay. I was like, okay. So what? Yes, and he was persistent. Uh-huh. I was also like 18 years old. Oh, okay. no, she said, like, yeah. She said she grew out of that. I right. grew Real out good. of that. Mm. Okay, all right. So now, do you ever, you ever intercept a drink for your girlfriends? What do you mean? So like, like you go to the bar, fellas, you, you at the bar, you see a girl out there, she got two people with her. Mm-hmm. Like some people know this math. If I see a girl with more than like a couple friends, I can try to approach her, mm-hmm. but more than likely, she got a defensive line around her. She's more protected than Tom Brady. For sure. Right? For so sure. so if I want her attention, okay. I need to have my my line to go in with her. Like, like you've seen me. Oh, and, I, I, okay. You get what I'm saying? You. you can't go in by yourself. You can't, yeah, you can't, you can't go, go in by yourself. yourself. Um, I've, I've never intercepted unless homegirl didn't want me to. So she gave the look back, she gave the look, yeah. and was like... Or tapped me mm. or something. And I'm like, all right, I'm here. How y'all doing? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> so you guys who've approached her at the bar, y'all know the strip we're talking about. Mm-hmm. If she ever suddenly just decided to... Uh, just know what happened. Yeah, just know what it is. Just know what happened. Take Sorry. the L. Take the L. Mm-hmm. Walk away. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now, do you think that... E, this is more for you. Yeah. Right? Does the idea of taking a drink, right? Since there's no expectations attached. Okay. Does that change when, like, you know, say your girl's at the bar? Okay. Right? Okay. Does that change when your significant other is approached with drinks? Because, you um, know. I mean, speaking for myself, I, I, I don't think it should. Um, I think it's just more so what happens after the drink. Um, you know what I mean? If If... Somebody offers my girl a drink, cool. They did that. But as long as there's no like weird movements or, you know, phone number exchange and yeah. you know what I mean? As long as we keep it at, you know, drink, keep quick conversation to keep, keep it honest. pushing. And even another thing too is is to see if the person who gave the drink is still comfortable when you come around. Cause sometimes Ooh. when you come around, the energy changes. If they're still like, oh, that's, that, that's your man. Oh, nice to meet you. And you keep it, yeah, you know, keep it cordial, keep it, keep keep it, it respectful. I'm sorry. We said drink too many times. So, you know. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. So as, as long as we keep it respectful and there's nothing, you know, shady yeah, about it. I don't want to call you out, but I can't fill a cup that's filled, brother. Look, look, look. look. <laughs> <laughs> can't do that. Yo, tequila can't is do heavy. That. Hold mm-hmm. on. I love tequila. Yeah. <laughs> this is rubbing alcohol. <laughs> Ooh. There it is. Ooh. Um, yeah, so so for me, speaking for me, I don't think everybody's that comfortable. Right. Some dudes might be like, nah, if, if you know, if a guy gives you a drink, you better That's give it, it back. Give you it can't back. take it because you taking it is a sign of this and that. Okay. I'm not I'm not tripping. Can I throw a hypothetical? Because sure. I know you've had your days and it's not maybe recent, sure. but I've had moments where I've been out with a girl and somebody will buy her a drink. Yeah. And she'll pull this move where she'll get two drinks Absolutely. and bring me one back. Absolutely. Yeah. So how you feel about that? I mean, on all sides. I mean, I know as as the guy who's receiving the drink, I'm, yeah, I'm not tripping. With that shit. No, I'm not yeah, tripping. I, I, would, I wouldn't trip. I wouldn't yeah. trip at all. Now, um, now, as the guy who's buying the drink, that's what I mean. That's one of those things where you got to take that. Out. Take I'm, that I'm a firm out. believer. Take that out. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, and gracefully. <laughs> yeah, gracefully. Take it gracefully. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, yeah. If 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 I go up to a girl. Try to talk to her, get her a drink. She's like, can you give me one more? Get her one more. She goes back and gives it to her man. Uh, I just got to take the L. You said a lot of things during the course of us talking about other random topics. Yeah. Where you put the, the responsibility on the dude, right? Like, how do yeah. you not see this? If a girl asks you, hey, I need one more. Yeah. What is your thoughts exactly when you buying her that second drink? No, <laughs> <laughs> of of course, and I mean, is, is it right? No, you know what I mean, because she's kind of using you to kind of get a drink for her. Yeah, man. But if you were paying but attention, man, once again, once again, happen. yeah, you got to pay attention to the signs. Yeah, you got to be aware of what's going on. Uh-huh. Um, but I don't know. I've just learned to take 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 the L on the chin and keep it pushing. Right. You know what I'm saying? G Lo, I don't want to throw you a homework assignment, but maybe you could put up the video real quick in the edit. Um, y'all saw that video where homegirl was out at dinner with dude 
And she was like, nah, I need another, I want another plate to take home or something. To, to her, her kids? To her, something like to that. To her kid or to I don't her remember what the circumstance she was. trying to get an extra It was, it was, it was for the kids. So basically, yeah. it was a girl who, uh, she went on a date. I guess the guy might have been a little late. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? And she wanted to literally, they ate, I believe. Mm-hmm. And she wanted to order a whole other meal, steak and all of that, for mm. the kids who were at home with their father. And dude was like, nah, like I'm not about to order a whole meal. And you talking about steak for kids? You know, you trying to play me and get it for your man. Like, let's keep it a hundred. You know what I mean? Yeah. You don't think you owe me after having me wait an hour and a half? I told you I owe you. I owe you one. I take you out okay, again. And so you gonna pay for my kids' food? No, I'm not doing okay, that. Can you please go ahead and get I'm not doing that. Okay. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, beautiful. Hold on, hold on. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Why? Why you trying to bring two, please? What? What's your name, Kier? Bring two orders. Why should I do that, Kier? Because you sit right here on the date. I was late to the date. I was late to the date. You bring two orders. But I said, why would I get why would I get her kids food? Why would I get her kids some food? They were they were their daddy. She was she was right here. They daddy should be feeding them. You say you order a steak for your son? How old is he? He ate. He ate eating steak. He He eating steak. Nah, hell no. Um and one one thing that I just found out recently is a lot of these girls will go on on Tinder dates dates just for a meal. That's that's, like, that's crazy. But you, nah, I saw that too. Some chick was on there and she went on three dates in one day. Like, don't get me. Uh, you get, know, yeah. if you, you can get all free, her meals covered, <laughs> you can, I saw that. Yeah. I saw if you that. could get it like that, get no, it how you that's live. That's too much energy. That's a lot. That's, that's a lot. Energy. Energy. That's a lot. And, and I, I'm a firm believer of like, being aware of the energy that you ex- accept around you. Yeah. So to just be going on dates left to right and accepting all that energy, even if you don't do nothing. Right. You know what I'm saying? You still carry that shit around. You still carry that around. It's, 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 still, it's still energy. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that, that's weird to me. Did you ever have a brush with like Tinder dates? Because I feel like that's where all the, uh, you know, we say there's a little bit of pee in the dating pool. I feel like that's where you're going to find it. A little bit of pee. It. Somebody I've, probably took I've a dump never, in I've never, <laughs> <laughs> I've never used Tinder. Have you ever used Tinder? I have any any, oh, any I'm, horror stories? Yeah, no, don't be ashamed. <laughs> <laughs> she said, I want to talk about that. Um, <laughs> I do have a horror story, and it was so bad. Like we never even went on a date because I ran away. You ran away. <laughs> I ran away. I did something similar, but yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I ran away. Okay. Um. Oh. So we matched, and, we, and it actually wasn't even Tinder. It was BLK. Oh, I've oh, heard I tried that. that. I tried that. Isn't that like a black dating? Yeah, yes, it's like it's it like is. a black, black it Tinder. It's like black Tinder. Black okay. Tinder. Um, but we matched and we chit chat uh-huh. on the phone a couple of times, and I okay. felt comfortable enough to hang out with him. So he asked me, you know, I want to take you out on Friday night. So I said, all right, sure, no problem. Um, but because I didn't really know who he was, and I have a car at the time, mm-hmm. so I was like, I you can't pick me up at my house. So yeah. I will meet you somewhere. Um, so I got on a train and I met him. Well, was trying to meet him, but he was like late picking me up from the train. I almost got on the next train going back home. Mm-hmm. And he's like, no, 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 I'm here. Just come downstairs. I'm like, all right, cool. I get in his car. Looked like there was like a cup of lean in the cup holder. <laughs> That's and a red his flag. car smelled like Funyuns, broccoli, That's and all sweat. And all red the other nasty Ooh. things in between. Oh, my God. So That's now I'm tight that you're late. And your car smells like this. Get in the car. He's like, all right, I got to make a couple stops. Oh, no. oh nah. this is bad. <laughs> Before he makes the stops, though, he makes two phone calls. Phone call number one. Yo, bro, what's going on tonight? We popping out for so-and-so's birthday. I wait got my minute. shorty with me. Oh, nah. I'm looking oh, around nah, the car wait. like, is this somebody else in here with me? Because it's just me. Seat. I'm like, like who, who else is in here? He was like, oh, hold on, hold on, bro. Yep, I, I got to go. I'm getting a call. I'm getting a call. He hangs up. Uh-huh. Yo, bro, we popping out for your birthday tonight. I just got off the phone with, well, oh, boy, I got my shorty with me tonight. We finna be lit. That's Mind twice. you, I think we're going on a date. Yeah. And I'm still trying to figure out who the hell his shorty is because it's definitely wow. That's, that's bold. Different. That's bold. That's and bold. he really was barely talking to me in the car. He was on the phone the more whole. than anything. Oh. Stop number one was to get gas, which is understandable. That's cool. Stop number right. two was so that he can go to his house to change, which he also also smelled like he needed. Oh, I mean, if he needed to, was he like after practice? I don't know what, what he did before. I'm trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. Oh, this man had already had like he, eight red flags. I, he had right. so many red flags. So yeah. I'm like, I gotta get the fuck out of here immediately. Yeah, that's so outrageous. He gets to his house. And he's like, you want to come inside? Why would I want to come inside, baby? I'm wow. sitting right here in the car. Soon as he closed the car, the, the door to the oh, house. Oh, you didn't tuck your roll. I got out of the <laughs> car. <laughs> And I ran down the block and called the Uber to the Bo Diggity oh. and blocked his number and went home. Oh, wow. man. So we never went on 
said date. And I'm sure he had respect to explain him. to his own <laughs> no, no, no. why he didn't show up with, with his, his girl. <laughs> yeah, with his girl. Damn. Wow. That's that, that's straight out of a movie. I can't, <laughs> yeah. I can't, My life is a movie. What can I say? Oh, I can't no. make can't this make shit up. That's crazy, bro. What? <laughs> but yeah. dudes, we we got we got to do better. We gotta do better. Um, I don't. I don't know. That's setting the bar pretty low. If you niggas don't know that that's out of pocket, no, then I don't know what to tell you, my nigga. I don't know. It's very out of pocket. I be wondering what happened to him sometimes. We gotta. Do, do you better. really know? Sometimes. I mean, maybe did they pop out? Did he ever find that girl he was talking about? His girlfriend. I have no idea. I don't know. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> no, I'm no, I'm, I'm. I'm literally speechless. I can't. I can't. <laughs> we just gotta do better as as men. We gotta do better because that's that's unacceptable. It. On like unacceptable. so many levels, the smells, the smells, is no, crazy. the smells, the, the smells, the, the language, the planning, or like of, I guess, the, the phone language. conversations, yeah. and the fact that I thought we were going out on a date, but we were really yeah. going to Just his kicking, man's yeah, his birthday, birthday party. celebration. It was kind of convenient, too convenient, and telling people I'm your shorty is nuts. Yes. That's wow. <laughs> That's it's crazy. nuts. Now, okay, all right. Do you think that there's like a different level of like crazy or wild that you find on different dating apps? Like like is Tinder or is Tinder terrible been, versus like BLK terrible versus like what was the other one? Uh hinge terrible. Hinge. I think like, BLK is the worst. Damn. damn of it, it got, that's was, BLK. I know, that's right? damn. Damn. I've never <laughs> used it, but damn. Um, because like Black I'll folk, get dudes do who like hit me up and send a little tongue emoji and it's like what you doing tonight, baby girl. Oh. Not you, mm. sweetie. That's bad. Not Jeez. You. Okay. All right. Like, that's, that's what I keep saying. Dating 2022, 2023, mm-hmm. I feel bad for people who are doing it. Because it's, it's the horror stories that I'm hearing. It just. There's a whole lot of turds floating around the it's pool. Bad. I'm not swimming. I'm just. She, I'm just yeah. Somebody come take me out. Oh, my oh, God. I don't even want to dip a toe in that. No. That's kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. Now, you try only Tinder? You try be okay? You say you've done Bumble? I haven't used Tinder in a very long time, but okay. I um, use BLK, Hinge, and that's really it. That's it? Yeah. Do you ever try any? I tried one in college. I don't even remember the name. This was before Tinder, before all these joints. Mm-hmm. Like um, plenty of Fish Days. Nah, it, it, yeah, it was around that time, but it wasn't Plenty of Fish. I forgot the uh-huh. name. Um, I feel like I told this story before, but it was basically... This uh, blonde chick, she had like the short haircut, uh, real cute. You know what I mean? We talking for a good two weeks on the app mm. before she's like, yo, we should link up. Um, so I'm like, yeah, let's go to the movies. I forgot what movie was coming out. But I was like, let's go to the movies. You know what I mean? I'll go. We set it up. Um, I get there. I'm waiting for her. I'm early. I like to be there early. I don't see, see, see that? It's like a green that. flag. It's like a green flag. You know what I mean? Very I'm, I'm, green I'm flag. waiting there early. Heard you, heard you. I'm, 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 I'm sitting there. I'm sitting yeah. there. Cool. Mm-hmm. And then I turn around and I see like this six five huge shorty. And I'm like, I'm not yeah. short. I'm I'm you like she five eleven. You. you feel me? <laughs> but this chick is she like six five. Yo, Stallion. this. <laughs> And Yo, it was it yeah, but that's something I don't know. For me, she should have put that on her profile, or she should have communicated that. Okay, because it just my brain didn't process. Didn't process but it. would you have given her a chance if if she, she said that? Yeah. Yes, and I think I would have been more mentally prepared because I just it shocked me in the moment okay. to where when I stood up, I had to look up to her, and that oh yeah, it felt awkward. It felt it just mm. it killed the whole thing. So I I gave her a hug. <laughs> we went in the movie. Didn't say a word. Walked out the movie. I walked into and the just car. Away. Gave her a hug. Never spoke to her again. Wow. <laughs> he went on a silent date. Silent date. Because I didn't. That's I didn't even know what to say. Like it just. It caught me. And she was wearing flats. Damn. But so that means like, she knew though. That means she. Knew, no, she she knew. She like, said she, she should have let me know. Like, you know. But she probably didn't because she has right, really had a whole right. lot of. Su- Not that that's a valid excuse, but I'm pretty sure wow. that's the reason. But then why. I, I was in college. Yeah. So I was young. Like, would I have done the same thing now? No. Mm. But as a young college kid, you know what I mean. You got options. You just, you know what I mean, mm-hmm. moving around. Yeah. It was just one of those like, nah, we can never date. I can never like <laughs> you get upset and start looking down on oh, me like man. this. Whoa. She poking you in your forehead. Whoa, <laughs> two finger <laughs> like, <laughs> nah, we can never. That could never happen. Um, if she's watching this, I apologize because she remembers you too. <laughs> she, she probably got, got your picture yo, up on the wall. Probably does because mm-hmm. the two weeks of conversation was chill. This was like Damn. we connected. It was a vibe. 
But when I, I just, it was one of those, in my mind, mm-hmm. I don't think it happened ever, but in my mind, it yeah. was one of those, like, I turn around and I hear, oh, no. <laughs> yeah. I swear to God, that's, that's how my I mind can't. remembered it. Like, wow. it was, it was traumatic. You feel me? So, yeah, um, never again. I think after that, I never again used the dating app. Mm-hmm. Um, and I feel like every girl I dated after that yeah. was mostly, like, people who I knew on a personal level. We were friends first. Um. And it just it just felt more organic, more natural. You yeah. know the person, but you get to skip out on like the yeah. red flag yeah. being yeah. as yeah. jarring, yeah. you know? Yeah. Sure. For yeah, sure. like you know your friend car stink if it stink before you. Right. Know what I'm saying right. like you already aware. <laughs> you already aware of that. Um. So. <laughs> yes. Um. So yeah. So we definitely. Um. Yeah. Question so though. Did that change your approach to dating? Like off rip, you like you ask different questions during like the texting talking phase. Um, I'm gonna keep it a hundred. Like literally after that, I don't think that I ever dated strangers. Like I, I, I never At went. All. Yeah, I, I didn't. So I think I, I was traumatized by that event to where it was like, no, Just like nah, I need to good. know you, see you first before I even approach you on some of this date. Okay, you know what I mean? I yeah. Sherry, you ask any specific questions like as you like getting to know people. What's the, what's your like your go to? Five questions. That you start What's your off? credit score? Yo, yeah. oh, start off with that. One. Um, no, I don't. I don't want to know your credit score <laughs> that soon. But that soon. <laughs> um, um, no, pretty basic, generic questions. Okay. Um, I kind of want. I not. A, I want to know what you do for a living. I want to know, you know, how it is that you're living. Um, ask wait, for height. Your living situation. Ask for height. That should be listed on your bio. Right. Height. Really? Yes. Yeah. Height should be listed. So that I can kind of, yo, if you're three feet tall, like, I need, I need to, to know, know that. You feel me? Like, if I'm looking you in nah, the face, yo. I'm looking yeah. down at you. I done, I done, I done seen know. dudes on, you know what I mean? They be flexing. I know. Then, you know what I mean? Maybe like, I know. It's like, nah, bro, that's not true. Maybe right? I'm biased. I'm, it's never really been an issue. I don't like, if I put my height on a, I don't know. No, but you, you're not sure. I know. Yeah, yeah. But so you that's could, what I mean. It doesn't make a difference to me. But, yeah, nah, that's okay. I feel like for, for women, it doesn't really matter as much. Nah, I mean, well, clearly it does. E, but like, when you're just six like, five with no heels on, it matters. And like, she, not when too you many, stomp, she like, play for the yeah, liberty. That's what it. Like. <laughs> like, What's going on, bro? Like it was, it was. Yeah, in my the way my mind has it, mm-hmm. I heard the. Doof, doof. <laughs> Yo, and it was just like, I nah, that can't be. Oh shoot, it is her. Oh mm. yeah. So if you if you six five and up as a woman, no disrespect, but you gotta put you gotta put that in the you, bio. You do have to prepare. You gotta put that in the bio, like you know what I mean. Mm. All right. So if that be the case, I think the new age of dating apps kind of switch shit up a little bit, right? Mm-hmm. Too much. I, I hear that because we talked about a little something earlier and she wasn't really too fond of something. Tell me why you don't like Bumble. Because. Uh-huh. I'm listening. Matter of fact, you know, cheers anybody? Shit, got this drunk got me sweating. This is hot. Uh-huh. Cheers, we got cheers. one more in us. There we go. Mm-hmm. I don't like the layout of Bumble because it makes me feel exactly how men feel using Ooh, dating. Oh, I like that. I'm glad you um, know. What you mean, though? Yeah, please. Because Elaborate. on Bumble... Um, you match, and mm-hmm. then no conversation is had unless a female hits the dude up. Yeah, so, oh, so, the, so, the, so the balls in your court. Balls in her court. court. Yeah, 100% but, that, of the but time. okay, it's good though. Um, it's a it's great good, thing. It's good I think. though. Yeah. No, no, because because I feel like a lot of dudes just be like swipe. Yeah, yes, yes, absolutely. Yes, yes, yes. Versus women are more selective. We shoot like so, curry. So, Any chance yeah, we get, yeah, we just going. Yeah. So to know that you know there's some type of a filter. Yeah. A filter. Yeah. yeah. No? Okay. But what happened? Yeah. I was Why, what makes you not like this? Um, I don't know. I didn't really connect with anybody on there after having it for a brief period of time. And when you match with somebody and you hit them up, they got 24 hours to respond. Otherwise, the oh, connection is gone forever. Gone. Really? Yeah. I know what's so like it's that. So it's like if you don't really use it, if you don't have your notifications mm-hmm. on for it, you're not going to see it. You're not going to see that. Yeah. How soon do you guys think it's too soon to meet with somebody on a dating app? Because like, <laughs> It depends. For me, it depends because how he looks, right? Because I've, I've, <laughs> because I've had conversation with somebody that, mm-hmm. like, I started talking to on a day nap, and we hung out that same day because we huh? didn't live that far from each other. And the vibe, vibe was, was, cool. and the was vibe right. Was, yeah. was right. Vibe was right. Vibe was right. Wasn't too out of the way. Okay. So That's fine. It, it really all depends. 
Hmm. So look out for Sherry's new song. It's specifically on her dating app adventures. She's got to go hard it's, with that. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> kind of. Is it really? Inspiration? Well, so Where do you pull my, your inspiration from? My I music guess. is uh, from my life experiences, mm-hmm. which is why it takes me so long to put music out. Because I'm an artist and I'm sensitive yeah. about my okay, shit. Okay, I hear that. Um, you got to let it go. You sit, you're sitting on you some real heat, though. Yeah. You are sitting on some real heat. A lot, a lot of artists are are, are definitely like that to where, yeah, perfectionist is the word, um, and sometimes you just gotta let it go, mm-hmm. let the people hear. Because at the same time, people want to see your progression, mm-hmm. so they don't want you to come out and be perfect. They want to mm-hmm. be able to be like, "Yo, your new song is fire," but I remember when mm-hmm. you wasn't gotcha. really there, but I see the pro- the progress mm-hmm. now. They yeah. need that to really fall in love with you. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Um, if you come out the gate and you just fire and all of that, they don't really have a journey to follow. That makes sense. Because there are definitely uh, people who I favor, um, who are my favorite, and like I got to see them grow, the grow that, that over that's, the course that's, of their career. Like I grew along with them in their music. So I get what you're saying. That's how you fall in love with an artist, and that's what I tell to all artists. Like this whole process of gaining, I don't like the word fans, but gaining supporters Mm -hmm. is they have to see the progress. They have to see the story and see how it progress. And that's what keeps them attached because they want to see you win. They want to keep following the journey Mm -hmm. and be a part of the journey in a sense. That's true. You feel me? To go from checking, finding out about you on Twitter to following you on Instagram to coming to one of your shows Mm -hmm. to... Right. It's, you know... It's It's all part of it. It's it's all part of the process. So don't, don't overthink it. Just let it out. Mm-hmm. You're you're gonna find more inspiration to make more music. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So don't keep that's, swiping. Yeah, nah, keep swiping. <laughs> <laughs> keep swiping. Keep swiping. Keep swiping. Keep swiping. <laughs> but yeah, if, if there's if there's a message to be had, it's, it's to learn to let go of the music mm-hmm. and let the people have it, so that they could grow with you. Absolutely. Yeah. Now. Uh-oh. Why are you saying that? Alley you. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to see how you go. You gonna do it? Yeah, like, Where are you going uh, next? It's, it's nothing crazy. Okay. Look, look, look. Okay. I just wanted to see. Okay, if we still had the same ideas when it comes to rejection in places, right? Okay. Because obviously Tinder, eh, that's, I think that's people's kind of cop out to like make, yeah, make rejection. Yeah, it's, it's not a face to face. Yeah, interaction. right, 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 yeah. right. Do you still feel the same about face to face interactions? Having the interactions on dating apps now? I don't. Hmm. How that change? Um, right. I don't know. When I first started like using dating apps, it was because I was just like really shy and like mm-hmm. timid. Um, and now when I go out and like I talk to people and I interact with them, not yeah. so much. Okay. Um, so I think for me personally, like that's how that's kind of changed my interactions. And when you when you meet people in person and you talk with them in person, you not because I also feel like whenever you meet people, period, their representative shows up and they peel themselves that's back boom. like an onion yeah. as time progresses. Onions, right away. Kind of stuff, of course. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you kind of really get to see people. You get okay. to see how they move. You get to see how they interact with other people versus when you're talking to somebody on a dating app, it's just person-to-person interaction yeah. versus if I meet you and we're out, I get to see you interact with well, your friends people, yeah. and other people. Yeah. Um, and I kind of get to see a part of you that you would have otherwise covered up mm. because it's just the two of us. That's true. That's true. I'm, I'm going to start this off, this next part, with like a, a TikTok question. Okay. What are your icks? What are my icks? In terms icks. of dating? Yeah, your icks. So. It's just red flags, people. Like you know, An ick that show, I but, have uh-huh. is if I get in your car and you drop me off in my house it's after a date. The, all about the car. This guy has left a mark and it's not Jesus. a good one. <laughs> Why the fuck are you pulling off before I get in the house? Wow. Whoa. Oh, I wasn't expecting yeah, that. Yeah, I didn't one. expect that. That's wow. an ick for me. Okay. If I, I get feel in your that, car though. and you do that, yeah. I'm never getting in your car. So so you oh. so somebody could really lose out on dating yeah. if they pull that. So the whole I didn't, say, I didn't say that I was never gonna date them again, okay. but I will never flag. let you pick me up again. Because uh, I feel like you don't even really care about, care about my safety. Because yeah. I went, wait for my friends to get in the house. Male no, 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 or female. No, no, no. That's true though. No, I, That's true though. I wait for my niggas to I feel it, I feel it. So what what would be the 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 I guess the male equivalent? Like 
Um, well, of that right there. Yeah. I don't know. Because I really don't think that as guys, we really think about these things. You know what it is? It's it's one of those things which is kind of a blind spot to us. I'm going to speak kind of like from another female friend's perspective. You know, she let me know that sometimes it's, it's not that it doesn't matter to us. Mm -hmm. We just don't think about the shit. Because there might be a shorty that did drop you off mm -hmm. or the phone call, right? Like the call me when you get home mm -hmm. type of shit, right? Mm -hmm. It's still the same thing. It's I want to know you got to the crib safe. Sometimes you just forget. Yeah, sometimes you do. Mm -hmm. And sometimes people take that shit really seriously. Mm -hmm. Us as men, we don't have a fucking second thought about it. I'm, I got inside. I'm good. I'm not thinking about my safety necessarily, yeah. I guess. Yeah. So I don't know if there's really a apples to apples thing to that one. Yeah. There's some definitely some big stuff. Like in terms of, I feel like when people put themselves together, you might say it's like the, um, I don't know, how you feel about when a guy comes out and it's not shaped up, his haircut's not good, he doesn't look well grown. Why are you coming outside looking raggedy? Okay, cool. Now, me and my brother go back and forth about this all the time. Mm -hmm. The curse of the birthday makeup. Mm -hmm. Nigga said that's the worst day of the year, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that's the why, worst why, why you're, why you're, why you're, you know, your neck this color, but your face your the color of the table. Is though. Different. Like, I can't answer that question. I'm not really a makeup mm -hmm. girl. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Although I, I, I can, have. Though. But I think it's because they focus so much on the Instagram. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's true. That, that's all that they really, they don't really look at what they actually look like to the public. It's more so like what I could look like mm -hmm. online and I'm going to look cute for the camera. Mm -hmm. That's in my hand. How much finessing of somebody's look do y'all accept i know it's probably far less for a woman because i know niggas is trying to rock the lace fronts now when women are going fucking Yo, bananas on they're doing like just fake be bald, beards just fake be beards just be bald just be, just be, just be bald yeah, just be all right now he like ladies got the lace fronts got the lashes got the makeup got the they got a, quite a bit of things i'm not gonna go through the list you know yeah. it is what it is we know what it we know what it is how much of that would you accept or it's good for you. Do you, you know? Is there a line? Um, I'm going to keep it a band. Every girl that I've dated was not into like none of that. Um, so your line is just. It's, it's, I've, I've never actually like dated someone who was into that. So I can't you even. You didn't even have like a situation shit? Mm, nope. Nah, all of them. All no, them just not natural. fans of makeup. Um, no. What about no. you? Um. <laughs> Ooh. So the um sound is heavy. Right. <laughs> cause, cause I right, look, I put it this way. I think that it becomes problematic in other ways. I'm gonna try to answer this as diplomatic as possible. Okay. I think that when you yourself go through so much to change your own appearance, mm -hmm. when we go out on a date, there's the deep stuff. Like you might have to believe in yourself to go on the date. Like you gotta. Let one thing be out of place. Your whole shit is fucked up, right? Mm -hmm. okay. You can't get that glue ain't gluing right on your eyelash. You know, your, your, your shit not laying down properly. You can't quite get that contour right. All of that can become like a... That's such a big crutch in how you view yourself. Because you're insecure. Because you're insecure. Now, when we get to any other place in life, that insecurity is really there. That mm -hmm. shit is like deep seated, mm -hmm. like so much so you don't even look in the mirror or see that you're picture worthy until you get your shit right. That's bad though. It is, and I didn't mean to get too crazy because I could have just said, you know, what if I want to go swimming? But that's that's no no that's that's my <laughs> idea. First day, first day, first day, <laughs> we're going swimming. That's Shadow first day. Rats. First you know they day, got, they you, you going to expose everything. What is that setting spray? Setting spray that should go. <laughs> they hold? do have that should go hold. But see, because the girlies is catching wow. up, they getting hit. They got setting spray that's waterproof. Okay, well you can go swimming with your makeup on. Okay, all right. Look, I just know, fellas. E, your, your, your answer to it is not an answer to it no more, man. Jesus They've Christ. evolved. No, no, it's, 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 it's getting scary. Like, the, the videos that I see online, mm -hmm. it's getting scary. Or I even saw a girl um, today that she has, like, it's like a fake booty. Like, oh, put it on. yes, did I, I did see yeah. that. With, like, oh it's supposed to be, like, like actual skin. Yeah, yeah. It feels like, actual like a real full prosthetic. But to me, that's catfishing. At what point, okay, at what point do we call it catfishing? If literally, like... When you add the makeup, the da da da, da the whole nine, mm -hmm. 
you look like a totally different yeah. person. Right. At what point do we call it just catfishing? I don't even know, man. I would I would say I have my opinion, but all What's that matters opinion? is is as they as they do the shit, they're gonna do the shit. Look, my opinion is that niggas gotta stop being buyers, right? Like that was Facts. the whole thing. Like if it's well, so niggas as we, are always gonna keep being buyers as long as coochie is being sold and it's always oh, there you go. Man. Then there it is. It's always that's, on that's, sale. It's always that's on unfortunate, sale. but it's always <laughs> on sale. It really is. It really is. <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go. That's how they get you, man. Then it ain't gonna stop, bro. It ain't gonna stop. Because I remember when the first the first uh round of BBL girls got started. Is that's when that's when it first started and niggas was really Oh well, why would she do this to herself? Blah blah blah. And yeah. now that's the norm. Now that's the norm. And you tell so much so we gotta stand up for the girls with the natural bodies. Yo, it like, also blew my mind. We were at the studio having a conversation, mm-hmm. and somebody said that they actually love women with natural bodies. And I have to say, my mind was kind of blown a little bit. I don't I, think it's. It, no, it kind of blew my mind a little what? bit. Because we don't love them out loud. Thank you. That's what it is. Oh. It's not that men don't love them. It's, we love y'all. We have love for all women. And, and that's because, again, Gucci wants you know, sell wow. sex sells. But it's, it's you know, the sex sells. Right, so. sex sells. So, like, I, I saw some guy, he said, it's not the matter of the girl who looks a certain way, it's the girl who exposes the most. So, you know, mm-hmm. you see, just look at, the, look at who's able to have, like, certain OnlyFans. You know, you decide what you put on your OnlyFans. Everybody's got a fan base, you know, and from the girl who looks like one way to the girl who looks like not that, mm-hmm. you know, we buying. So long as we buying, they selling. Oh, man, you gonna you gonna shut down your store if niggas is buying? Uh, I Absolutely the fifth. not. There Absolutely you go. Not. <laughs> there you go. So in terms of like buying drink tonight. buying drinks at the bar, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, what's what, what's your approach? Or have you ever? Oof. I've done it before, right? Okay. But I've entered. Two, there's two phases to this, right? There's, I'm going in and I feel like that's what I'm supposed to do. Now, I think when you think you're supposed to do something, that comes with expectations off of it. So I was one of those people, I could take my L, but goddamn, did that shit sting. Because, mm. you know, back when you're doing that shit, most of the time you're coming out of college. If you're not at a college bar where, like, you know, it's $3 beers, right, right, right. You know, a dollar $15 shot. $15 a shot. Right, right. $20 shot. Yeah, $20, $20 a shot, $20 College a drink. That, hurt. that shit adds up. Yeah, that yeah, shit yeah. hurts. So do I feel like a lady's obligated to talk? I think it's polite. Jeez. I think it would be- Obligated is a strong term, though. That's, that's, that's- yeah, Obligated, like obligated is- a little but bit. See, but see, now that's, here's my thing, right? I think that that's when you have to read the room, right? That's so, my thing. So that's don't get me thing. wrong- do I feel That's like it would thing. be great? Absolutely. But if you get there and it's just like you texting nowadays, you text and you're like, hey, what's up? Uh, you look great. Da, da, da. It's like, hey. Oh, so what do you do? Dry as toast. You no, know, I yeah. work. Where are you from? Dry Out here. Toast. Catch the vibe. Yeah, if there's Catch nothing the going, if I'm Keep hurting my back carrying the conversation, I got to move. Now, that said, today, I kind of I feel like as a guy, you gotta kind of set the stage for yourself. Again, you could read the room, but you could read the room before you buy the drink now. Mm-hmm. Like you can see who she with. Mm-hmm. Did she did she catch a glance beforehand? Mm-hmm. Go like in sales, right? We got what's called a you know, a cold call mm-hmm. and then a warm lead. Mm-hmm. Yep. Right? A cold call is a I'm such and such, and they're just walking down the street, they don't give a fuck about you, don't know anything about you. You gotta pray. That off the first few words, you made an impression. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you got good pickup lines and good swag, maybe that's for you. Mm-hmm. Me, myself, I think I'm all right. But I prefer a warm lead. Mm-hmm. I prefer a, oh, she did look at me. I prefer a, a, you know, walk by maybe a, if I can see like a light wave, maybe I try to dance. Maybe I walk by and I say, hey, how eye you contact. doing? A little eye contact. You can, you can read somebody off the verbal hello too, right? You walk mm-hmm. by. Oh my fault. I'm sorry. That's okay. Hey, how you How you doing? I'm you good? good. How you doing? Nice, right? <laughs> and, right. You do that now. Now you know on the on the, the you know do a little lap. Give it some time. Then you like yo come back around. Come back around. Hey, can I buy you a drink real quick? Absolutely. Boom. Now you know that the conversation Sound can like a pro. go somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Once you do that, I think that's a little bit better than putting a bitch in a chicken wing and saying, "Hey, talk to me." That's yeah, a little crazy. Yeah. So, Eman, I, I'm not gonna say obligated. Yeah, 
I understand y'all pain, fellas. Nobody right. likes L's. Right. Take them gracefully, though. Yeah, yeah. Right. but you can't spell life without them. Facts. Ooh. So, Facts. there you go. All right. So, we got another episode of Real Uncomfortable. Um, where can they find you and check out your music and follow you can, what you got going on? You can find me on Instagram. I do not have a Twitter. Uh, but you can follow me on Instagram <gasps> at Sherry the Don. That's Sherry with two I's, two E's, and two N's. I had to think better for a second. It's okay. We'll put it like somewhere over here or somewhere. something. Under, mm-hmm. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Lower third, whatever. For sure. For sure. E man. Yes. Ready, where, you, where you at, brother? Um, same thing. Mixed by E man music. Um, if you need studio time, I got you. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, check fuck, us fuck, out, fuck, man. Fuck, Real fuck. uncomfortable. Tez. Yeah, yeah. yeah. C Tez. That's C Tez music. It's a spell. And um, you know, check out that diplomacy clothing. Period. Styled by my boy, Freshly Slim. Papa Slim. You know, we out here. We making music, we making podcasts, we teaching lessons. I have a real and uncomfortable conversations, but mostly real conversations. Hmm. Be real. Don't buy drinks if she's doesn't like you. Don't. <laughs> 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 like, <laughs> Cheers. We Cheers. out. We out. We out. Trying to level up, better get with us. Gotta get.